Blackburn, he walked on, whether it was tension or whether it was focus. Well, there's your answer, folks. Hamilton, who was very ordinary in beating Mick McGowan in the first round with an average of 79, couldn't play any worse. Appears to be playing a lot, lot better. 110 to open up with. Yeah, a good level 15 dart leg from Hamilton as he fills the bed up. His first 180 of the second leg. And a steady start from Hamilton. And as a player, Stuart, you know, that first checkout really settles you down because in the early games, you're always edgy on how you're going to hit doubles, but certainly that puts you right in the mood as it has done Hamilton. Well, 7-4 to four the sponsors were offering on Andy Hamilton before this match. They look to be generous odds. I see one. Certainly Bennett, very generous. And, uh, he started this game off a lot better than he did his previous round. Lewis, you know, wow. Lewis is a rhythm player, Stu. He needs to get that first dart in the right position, and then you're in trouble. But if he doesn't, and that's where the hammer has got to hammer him over it. Well, sell-out crowd here at the Winter Gardens. They enjoyed a feast of darts this afternoon. And with Taylor and Barney coming up a little bit later on. They're going to get uh, some brilliant entertainment. Live on Sky Sports, wow. the 14th World Match Play Championship. Well, we've had some great darts right from the very first game of the first round. As we've said before, this is possibly... The best tournament we've ever had on Sky Sports with the field of quality dart players. Well, 110 from Hamilton to win the first leg. Still on, needed the treble. 57. Slow start from Lewis, no rhythm in the throw at the moment. Yeah, he never put any pressure on Hamilton. You know, if Andy doesn't take this out, well, no, that's a superb first start. Wants another one of those, and double eight for a 1-3-6 for the second leg. 128. Oh, do we require 80? Really good effort from Hamilton. Well, he went double top, double top then. He now needs the ball. And yes, Lewis, what a recovery. What a recovery, you could argue. He may Showboating to start with, looking for two double tops, but that was some recovery. Great darts from both players, and we've only had two legs. Well, Lewis kind of got out of jail free there, missing the big number. And when you want 80, the one thing you don't do is miss the big 20. But Adrian, with his ability, just pinned the bullseye, and he's back in the game. There's uh, Kate, Andy Hamilton's wife, in the foreground. Just talking about double top, double top. We'll come back. Just Taylor, of course, against Painter. And, uh, they played so many times over the years, followed by Barney against Barry Bates. And two great games coming up, but in years gone by, it was seen. There's a, a bit of a slide, a bit of an insult to your opponent to go for, for double top, double top, or two doubles to win a leg. Not anymore. It's very much part of everyone's armoury and no one's afraid to use it. Well, certainly, I, I think if you've got 80 in your hands in your darts with three darts in your hand, I don't think double top, double top is the percentage way to go. But certainly, if you've only got two darts in your hand and you want 76, you know, 80, then the two doubles, the double is far bigger than the treble. And players are, are using it more, and I think they're going to use it. We're going to see it on Sky Sports a lot more in the game of darts. Well, this is much more like it for Andy Hamilton. Average at best would describe his performance in the first round. I know we're only in the third leg, so uh, we won't get carried away with averages, but uh, already in three figures, Hamilton. We'll see if he can maintain it over a long stretch. 2-1, it is. Already this match showing the signs of being a terrific second round tussle. 93. Yeah, certainly, the hammer looks a lot more comfortable on that stage than he did in his first round match. He weren't happy with his performance. 
But sometimes in the first rounds, you know, they're not pretty. You just get through, and that's what it all counts, getting through to the second round. And this is where the business end of this tournament starts. Yeah, impressive numbers, early doors from Hamilton. We'll have a, have a look at those figures after, say, wow, six, man, seven, 14. and eight legs and see where they are. See where they are. It'll give us a, a much better idea. Yeah, it is easy to have high averages in the first two or three legs, but it's over the, the 10, 15, 20 legs. If you're still averaging over the 100, that proves that your consistency leg on leg is absolutely up there with the best. 58. Well, 12 months ago, one of the matches of the tournament, Hamilton beating Lewis in the second round by 15 legs to 13 in a tie break. If memory serves me right, Lewis was 9 6 up in that. And Hamilton stormed back to win. Went on to reach the semi finals, and that's when he really announced his arrival as a, a big player in the big world of PDC darts. Yeah, us players have known Andy for a few years now, a bit like Terry Jenkins, a great floor player. And know what Terry Jenkins can do on the big stage now. But this hammer, a solid player. 100. Agent, you require 87. Martin Lewis on 87, looking for treble 17, double 18 to clean this one up. Double nine across the board. 69. Well, Hamilton now on 110. He took this out in the first leg. Can he take it out against Duke? Well, we shall see. We've got an interested spectator in the commentary box as well. Phil Taylor has just bobbed in to have a look at events. I think he'll be impressed with the way that Hamilton has started. Double 16 for another 1-1-0 one, one, oh, finish. He wasn't far away. Adrian, you require 18. Double nine for Lewis. In their first start, not the greatest of doubles. Like double five, never liked it myself. Two all. And I think we could be on for an epic here and a long game. Well, we mentioned Lewis Hamilton at the start, and they're both motoring and how. Great start to this second round match. 137. Ah, I know we've only had four legs, but sometimes you get a feel for a game. Good numbers, good numbers from both players. You, you just get a feel that this could go all the way. Don't rule out another second round tie break here. No, I make you right. We've actually got two different type of players here. Andy Hamilton, very consistent, very steady. But Adrian Lewis, he's got the talent of a Van Gerwen anybody else that's uh, been brilliant in this game but he just has the odd I suppose I'd call it duff legs but that's where Hamilton is going to jump on him and Hamilton's consistency may just get him through Well, this is going to have to go, son, to beat the drama of uh, Wade beating Priestley and Baxter beating Van Gerwen in the tie-break this afternoon. But a good start. Promising start. Important leg, although it's early on in the match. You, know, you want to go into that first break with a win. Some players, they concentrate that every... Commercial break, you have five How legs, try and win every one, three, two. So every little commercial break is actually a match. Now, it's a good setup from Lewis, putting the pressure on Hamilton. Well, a great 140 from Hamilton, giving him the chance to hold throw and to re establish the lead. Double 18 for a 14 data. Now, this is important. Yes. yes! You can see how much it means to Andy Hamilton. Fantastic start to this match. Lewis averaging 99, Hamilton 101. But it's the Hammer who leads early doors. Don't go anywhere. It's 3-2 to Hamilton.